sort of. Buzz Lightyear is back, but if you're wondering why Tim Allen doesn't voice the classic Toy Story character in the Space Rangers new movie, there's a reason for that. And CNN's Rick Damagella will tell us why. Buzz Lightyear Mission Log, Stardate 3901. Lightyear is described as the movie which Toy Story's Andy saw in theaters before receiving his Buzz action figure. Buzz Lightyear to Star Command. Come in, Star Command. Why don't they answer? Talking action figures generally are not voiced by their big screen performers. I have Captain America dolls out there that have someone else's voice. And so you say, OK, I guess it's OK if our voices aren't the same. This character is supposed to be the human version of that toy. So when we when we do these iconic lines, you know, whether it's to infinity beyond or, you know, you're mocking me. You're <laughs> mocking me, aren't you? Whatever those lines are, you're allowed to take Tim Allen's performance and, you know, kind of steal from it and just say, listen, it's, it's supposed to be in the same vein. And, and I'd almost be a fool not to. Buzz's co-stars include a talking robot cat. Hello, Buzz. Ah! I am Socks, your personal companion robot. My what? When I first went into Pixar and they showed me all the little drawings of the different characters and I saw Socks and I was like, that's going to be the one. That's gonna steal this movie. And a Hollywood veteran making his animation debut as Zerg. I got hired because I had done some voiceover work just before that and they heard it. And uh, uh, I've been trying for years to do a voiceover job just to do it, see what it was like, you know. I'd always been told, you know, you should do voiceover work, you know. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've tried. To infinity and beyond. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. A year is the first Disney Pixar film to debut exclusively in theaters since the start of the pandemic. The movie should be available on Disney Plus sometime between July 29th and August 5th. All right, SA Live is about to start, and we have one big question for you, Fiona. Mm. You. What's Mike going to be doing on the show today? He's busy right now. I know, and you know, Father's Day weekend is here, so it's time to celebrate that number one guy in our lives, right? So, I have a stand-in here who may or may not be a little bored. Ah, uh, get it? I don't have Mike here to laugh at my jokes, but don't worry, we've also got some great barbecue for Dad this weekend, because you can't go wrong with that. And Denise Cabello, of course, from Barbecue Smokehouse is here to show us what's on the menu this weekend. And there's something bonus for Dad, right? Exactly. So if you just now realized that Father's Day is this weekend, thanks to Fiona, you didn't get Dad a present, don't worry. Take him out to Barbecue. We've got plenty of delicious food and a freebie for Dad. We're not going to tell you what it is yet. you got to watch, right? All right. And I'll and laugh at your jokes, too. Okay, thank you so much. <laughs> All right. And guess what? If you need a last-minute dessert for Dad, Gigi's Cupcakes are here. All right, so we are going to tell you how you can score some of those for the last minute. And of course, in our shout out today, go ahead and send us some pictures of the dads in your life at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter. You might see them in the show. It is going to be a busy weekend in San Antonio. We already mentioned the big Juneteenth Festival at Comanche Park, but there's also going to be lots of pride, pride events happening. The first annual River Parade and festivities down at La Vita. The San Antonio Zoo also announced its first ever Pride Week. It kicks off tomorrow with night out at the zoo, an after hours party with drag reformers, music, vendors and more. Be sure to check out all the details on KSAT.com. Going to any events this weekend? Boy, make sure lots of water, lots of shade because it is just going to stay very hot. Some clouds in the morning and then triple digits in the afternoon all the way through the first day of summer on Tuesday, which I don't know, really yeah. doesn't kind of yeah. matter this year. Kind of a moot point, like yeah, we said. Yeah, exactly. Hopefully, <laughs> we're already halfway through summer in our minds. Ho hopefully, that cut out of Caskey doesn't eat all that barbecue down there before I get down there. I don't know. You know, he's a big barbecue. He was, he was so. eyeing those cupcakes. The cupcakes, yeah. yeah. That's all of our show for now. From all of us here at KSAT, thanks for joining us. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, well, hello and happy Friday. Not only Friday, but we're going into a Father's Day weekend on this Friday. And I've got, oh, 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 I've, you know, I do have a meteorologist for a co-host typically, so 
Um, I'm glad I have a stand-in meteorologist today for me. Ba -da -bing. That is the flat Stanley version of Mr. Adam Kasky, and I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, Father's Day is almost here, and you know, I, I'm sure Adam would agree. We want to see your photos. So let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter. Give that shout out to the dads in your life. We would love to see them, and you may see them a little later. All right, are you ready for some barbecue? Yes, he is. All right, well, this weekend, it's time to celebrate the number one guy in our lives. So how about a great meal for dad and scoring him something for free? Denise Camayo from Barbecue Smokehouse is here to show us what's on the menu this weekend and, of course, what they are giving away to every dad. You hear that? Every dad. <laughs> something that he can enjoy. So yes. welcome, welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay. I brought you plenty of goodies. <gasps> Love it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, and here's the thing, guys. I mean, Father's Day is this weekend. Mm -hmm. If you just are realizing that, we've got you covered at Barbecue because we have so many delicious things on the menu. Fiona, shall we start yes. with these really yummy? Look at those ribs. So we do our ribs St. Louis spare rib style. Check how big the those things are. Those are fit for dad for sure. I mean, I they're mean, I'm fit gonna for. I'm going to compare it. Like, how does that? <laughs> I think he's smiling about it. I know. Yeah, it smells great, right, he's, Adam? Yeah, yeah. They, he loves to grill. Okay, <laughs> they, we'll, we'll do the grilling for you. I, I was looking at my husband and I was thinking, oh, he usually does the cooking, but it's my turn this weekend. <laughs> I don't like to cook, so I'm just going to stick with barbecue. Our ribs are extra juicy, extra saucy. They're delicious, but of course, we've got the full menu. We've got sausage, delicious brisket. We've got chicken. Any side you can imagine, we've got it all for you there. So just head out to Barbecue and we'll do the cooking. Okay, and of course, not just great barbecue, but you have a sauce for every kind of dad, right? So exactly. Let's, so let's go ahead and rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. Okay, so we're gonna start here for your sweetheart of a dad. He's gonna love the sweet sauce. Aww. You gotta try it. If you want a little sweetness added to that smoky heat of your meat, put on some sweet sauce. Do you want to try that sweet sauce? It's, it's that first, first one right one. there. Yeah, I'm on it. Let okay. us know what you think. A little extra sweet. It is sweet. That's it is good. sweet, right? Okay. It's really yummy. Okay, if dad is chill, mm -hmm. he just wants a relaxing Father's Day, why don't you try the mild sauce? The mild sauce is going to be perfect for dads who just want a little kick of something. Did you dip that one? Mm-hmm. What do you think it about it? It does have just a slight kick. Slight mm -hmm. kick. It's not like overpowering. Spicy. You're gonna want the next level up. Okay, so but let's. This is good if you like things mild. That's right. There you go. Let's talk okay. about that spicy dad. He wants All the right, next level, right? That right. spicy, saucy dad. He's gonna want to go hot. Hot sauce right there. What do you think about the hot sauce? Oh, that has Michael Jay's written all over it. Mm -hmm. Hot. He, That's I, right. He's somewhere smelling smelling uh, our barbecue. <laughs> I'm sure he's racing here because way. he saw that we have barbecue. You know he right. is. And Safely racing here. There you go. <laughs> For really any dad, really anybody, they're going to love the Carolina sauce. This one is, it really goes great on anything. It's so delicious. I can eat that one by itself. Mm -hmm. That's it, right? Like a like a soup. That's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, you're gonna want to wash it sauce. down, right? And mm -hmm. that's when we're gonna get to talk about the freebie that every dad gets. Exactly. So dads, all you have to do is come to Barbecue, and you're gonna get a free frozen Jack and Coke. Now let me tell you, these are delicious, and they're gonna put dad in a really good mood after he drinks one of these. You get a free one just for coming, just for being a dad, but you can also take home the gallon with you. So if you're doing a barbecue at home and you invited the whole family, get them some frozen Jack and Cokes. Everyone is gonna be happy this Father's Day. <laughs> And not just for the humans. Yeah, that's okay? right. Okay, there's something for your four-legged friends. Exactly. We've got the whole family covered. So at Barbecue, we like to make sure that dogs are included. We have an outdoor patio where you can bring your dogs. They can enjoy playing, running around while you enjoy your barbecue. And if they get hungry, we've got a doggy menu as well. So we've got puppuccinos, we've got puppy platters, and I want to show you just a little bit of yes. what goes into it too. So if you want to celebrate your dog, all you need to do is add these ingredients you've got your cream and bacon bits they nice. eat that up you know they do and then of course they're gonna want some chicken and this is barbecue chicken so you know it's extra good 
and you're ready to go for that uh, doggy in your life. Love it's just it. another treat for, for the pups in your life as well. All right, yeah. and as Denise mentioned, remember there is a patio mm -hmm. that kids can play, and of course, your fur-legged friends can enjoy as well. For more information on Barbecuity Smokehouse, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, where we've provided a link, or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, well, another fun celebration is happening this weekend. The oldest pet rescue in the city is turning, yeah, that's right, 88. 88 years old. Adam, he knows so much trivia, okay? They've got a big party planned and you're invited. Argenta Biostrowski is out there on the north side with some of the stars of the event. Hey there, Jen. Yes, a party, right? Get it? Yes, we're having a great time over here at the Animal Defense League, and this cutie is Juju Fruit. Julie Healy joins me. I know she wants to run around and play, but we do have to keep her in our arms, right, yes. Julie? Yes, keep a hold of her. She's a wild woman. She's so cute. Yes. Yeah, so she's adorable, and you can actually get her at a special price. We'll talk about that in a minute, but 88 years. Oh, my goodness. 88 years. We are so honored to be the oldest life-saving institution for pets in San Antonio. We turn 88 years old this weekend. We were founded in 1934. Wow, 1934. That is a very special number because if you come out starting today, like right now through Sunday, you can get any pet at that price, correct? Yes, 19. any pet, $19.34. And that includes puppies like Juju Fruit who are normally $200. <laughs> yes. In addition to that, everyone who adopts this weekend will be registered to win a, a Valero gas card for $190.34 wow. thanks to our friends at North Park Subaru. Wow, and lots of celebration behind us. You can see there is a lot of fun things going on too. You have a prize wheel. Uh, tell us about some of the other fun. We have lots of fun this weekend, so we ask everyone to come out. We're, we're open 11 to 7, Saturday and Sunday, but tomorrow on Saturday, we're gonna have our big party. We're gonna have a food truck. The first 88 people who join us will be able to get a free item. We've got manganadas, nachos, hot dogs, all kinds of fun stuff. And we're gonna bust a pinata open at 11.30 and it's full of candy. So bring your kids, come play with us, celebrate our birthday. Awesome, so you heard that right, free food. Again, $19.34 for all the pets. Now, it wouldn't be a party without some fun and some cupcakes and some puppy cupcakes too, canine cakes, right? That's right, <laughs> we're gonna get our residents in on it and we're gonna see who is more um, able to finish a cupcake in one bite. Is it man or dog? Are y'all ready? Let's bring our buddies up here. Okay. Bob Steady and Bebop. They've been here since December. They're ready to go home. They're ready for adoption. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> go, come on. You can eat it. Yeah, go right there for it. Oh yeah, this is good stuff here. I love the decorations and I love the puppy ears that they have on too. I know we can do better than that. Come on guys, come on, we're rooting for you. Let's see who will finish it first. How are the dog food in the middle? How are our humans doing here? Let me see. Go James. Again, this uh, you guys are at capacity too, right? We're at capacity. We've been at capacity. In fact, probably most of the shelters in town are at capacity. So really, we always tell the public the best thing that you can do for pets in need is adopt. Always adopt. There's so many pets that need loving homes, adult dogs as well as puppies. All right, who, do we have a winner? Oh, we have a winner! Right here! Oh, wonderful! Yay! And how are the dogs? Oh, this one? Does any of the dogs finish it yet? Well, Okay, way to go! Okay, where's our crown? Great job! Still putting it on the dog. Okay, we're going to give the dog a crown. Again, you can get that special price, $19.34. No, no, $19.34 right now through Sunday. He wants more cupcakes. Uh, anything else people should know before they come out here? We're open 11 to 7. We've got three locations. You can also browse all of our pets on the website at adltexas.org. All right. Well, Ju uh, Juju 
fruit juju, juju fruit is juju also baby. available. So she will be 50 pounds, right? She will be 50 pounds. She is a Labrador um, Shepherd mix. So lots of cute, lots of furry, ready to play with your kids. All right. Well, good job, everybody, humans and canines. <laughs> uh, we'll toss it back to you guys on <laughs> set. All right. Say bye, Jen, Juju fruit. Jen, great job to you wrangling that very excited puppy probably smelling all that yummy food, right? I know, I know. You're just as funny as Mike when he's here. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, still ahead on the show, there's still time to get something sweet for dad. When they're ready with last minute treats and some fun cupcake designs, you can do it yourself. But first, French inspired, a French inspired bar in Southtown is trying to do some good, how they're helping the families in Uvalde and how you can join the effort. It's all next on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, escape the Alamo City for a night in the City of Lights. Bar Ludovine is a French inspired bar in the heart of Southtown, and they serve classic cocktails and some original craft creations. It's a great spot to unwind for the weekend. And if you need more reason to go, you should hear how they're giving back to families in Uvalde. Check it out. We're at Bar Ludovine at 1014 South Presa in the Lavaca area. Uh, Bar Ludovine is a neighborhood bar. We are focusing on house cocktails or seasonal cocktails, classic cocktails. We also have a range of Texas beers uh, on draft and on can, and we have some fabulous French wines. As a neighborhood bar, uh, we support local artists, as you can see here. They come through once a quarter. We change that out, and our goal is to be a platform for local artists in different forms. We have live entertainment from karaoke to live music to DJs playing throughout the week. In an effort to support the Uvalde community, we were looking for ways of how, you know, what's the best way for us to show the, show the community that we care about them, we're supporting them. So on June 26th, Sunday, at the Sacred Heart Catholic Church, we're going to be coordinating what we're calling the Heart to Heart Community Barbecue. We're going to um, have some briskets, fajitas. We're going to go down there on that Sunday and serve the community. And we're, our goal is to serve the 250 to 300 plates, open to anyone, not just the church. The church is being the anchor of, of a platform, and they have an indoor area. Our hope is to get about 20 volunteers to go down there, serve. We're about halfway there. Um, being that we just started this initiative, um, we're very happy with the progress we're making. We have three cocktails that we're donating a portion of the proceeds towards the event. Uh, now let me show you some of those cocktails. I'm going to be making one of our house cocktails which is a seven serpent. It's going to be a play on a margarita. Uh, if instead of using tequila it'll use mezcal, a Mexican mezcal in particular. Go to start with some lime juice, a little agave, some of this corn liqueur. And a double strain here. The Seven Serpent. The next drink we'll be making is the Paleta de Oro, which is pretty much a take on a Mexican candy. It's not a true Mexican candy, but it's just kind of a play on that. We're using a Tamarindo Simple Syrup that we make here, little lemon juice. And for this one, we're gonna be using couple of equal parts of the mezcal, some tequila, and some of that good old Nixta corn liqueur. We'll also be doing a couple of dashes of uh, some habaneros bitter in there as well. Garnish with the lemon. And there you are, the paleta de oro. Uh, the next one we'll be making is going to be the excursion, the La Excursion. It's going to pretty much be a play on a painkiller, which is a classic tiki cocktail, uh, but we're just going to do it with, instead of rum, we're going to be using the Mexican whiskey here, some cream de coco, some lime juice, pineapple juice, and then we're going to do a little bit of a wash of mezcal and a uh, chocolate bitters in there, just to kind of round out those flavors in there as well. And the excursion. 
The concept with Bar Ludovine is being in this historic district, you have these fabulous homes in King William, these you know, amazing homes over 100 years old in the Lubbock and King William area. But we wanted to grab that vibe was that you were sitting in one of these living rooms um, back in time when these homes were you know, first built and keep it very classic to that style. So very elegant and it's vintage, um, but yet still having what a tremendous amount of fun. All right, very cool. For more information, just go to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that <laughs> QR code on your screen. Really, whichever one works. They're what, are you saying I'm interchangeable <laughs> with Kasky now? <laughs> they, locked, right. they locked the doors and I couldn't get in. Still ahead on SA Live, a few <laughs> tiny touches can make a big, yet literally, they locked me out. Uh, we're showing you how to give a kitchen facelift without doing a big home project. We love you. Okay, and next, where you can pick up free gun locks and what one expert says you can do to keep your family safe. This one. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's a big concern for parents, especially right now, keeping your kids safe from gun violence. And a coalition of Bear County organizations is trying to prevent child gun tragedies by promoting safe gun storage. And they've teamed up with University Health to save lives. Here to tell us more about the Gun Safety for Bear program is Jennifer Northway from University Health. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. All right, let's get to the, let, how do you store guns safely and you know and of course let's talk a little bit about how the program can help absolutely so uh, because we've seen an unfortunate in increase in firearm related suicide in both kids and adults as well as an increase in the number of children who found weapons and unintentionally hurt themselves or killed someone. Uh, we've come together as a coalition, the Sheriff's Office, Judge Wolf's Office, uh, Safe Kids San Antonio, Be Smart, uh, Moms in Man Action and VIA to provide free gun locks in the community and talk to folks about what they can do to keep their children safe. And how can they get those? Yes, yeah, so we are so happy to have several distribution partners throughout San Antonio. If folks visit gunsafetyforbear.org, they can see the list of distribution uh, partners in our community and they can pick up whatever they need. We have cable locks and uh, trigger locks. Those are shown here today however many quantities they need and of course they'll also receive information on uh, the suicide prevention hotline as well as some other tips uh, to make sure that their home is safe. So how do these, you know, gun safe locks work? Sure, so we offer two different kinds. It really depends on the type of firearm that you have. This particular version right here is a trigger lock. And so if you are placing it on the weapon, first you wanna make sure that it's unloaded. We don't wanna have any um, ammunition in the chamber whatsoever. And so you would place the flat piece at the top here and then basically just uh, attach this other side press it safe, press it tight, and now it's locked and somebody can't reach the trigger. Of course, you never wanna store the keys with the, the lock and the weapon, and you also wanna store the ammunition separately. And make sure there's no ammunition left, of Absolutely, course. because if you do leave a, a, a round in the chamber, if, if you're trying to take the lock off or put the lock on, it could go off and unfortunately hurt somebody. All right, and of course, how can you Okay, you know, parents ask about, hey, if my kid's going to somebody's house, they may ask, uh, you know, are there any allergies, you know, or this or, you know, that. Does that, that needs, that conversation needs to open up beyond that, right? Absolutely. So we want to make sure our children are safe, but when they're going to friends' homes for playdates, we need to take our conversations with our, um, our children's friends' parents mm -hmm. uh, one step further. We're asking about allergies, we're asking about pets in the home. We need to start getting comfortable with also having the conversation about safe gun storage. And we want to make sure that firearm um, ownership is as safe for those who have guns as well as those who don't have weapons. So ask the conversation. You know, I, do the kids have any allergies? We're going to be getting together. Do you have any weapons in the home? How are they stored? My child's not used to being around weapons. I want to make sure that they're safe. All right. If, all right, so let's get the information up on the screen. You can learn more about safe gun storage or find a free gun lock pickup location by visiting gunsafetyforbear.com. And for more information on University Health, visit universityhealthsystem.com. Jennifer, thank you so much for thank all that you. information. Still ahead on the show. 
It's a journey from the streets to service dog. We get an update on what our furry friend has learned so far as he prepares to live side by side with one of our military heroes. And next, they're ready with something sweet for all you last minute shoppers, where you can pick up something sweet for dad this weekend and we show you some fun designs you can do yourself. Don't go anywhere, you're watching SA Live. Oh, that looks really good. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, if you haven't put in your Father's Day dessert orders, that's okay. Gigi's Cupcakes bakes fresh every day and has lots of sweet treats ready to pick up. Just walk in and grab them, right? Yes. That's right. <laughs> Jennifer <laughs> Hazelton, yes, is here, owner of Gigi's Cupcakes. And you're going to show us, of course, what you've got going on for Father's Day. I love these. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So these are our Father's Day cupcakes. And, and like you guys said, Father's Day is this weekend. So if you forgot, we've got you covered. So we're open on Sunday if you forget. So we've got our golf cupcakes for those dads that love to go golfing. We've got something mm -hmm. for them. And for those dads that like to grill out in, outside in the backyard, we've got that them covered as well. We've got a little skewer there with some meat on it. So uh, a yeah. lot of fun stuff there. Okay, so. I just noticed the sand trap. Yeah, we those are yeah. <laughs> That's quite <laughs> the golf ball in the sand. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna start with uh, the uh, the grass. Okay. So you're gonna want to squeeze that bag hard and pull it up while you're squeezing to to make the little grass hairs. And it's not gonna be perfect, but grass you know is it's like snowflakes. They're unique, right? And I'll give that to you, Fiona, so you can mm. start doing yours. What, my, my well, what's going on over there? My grass is not working. So squeeze and pull up. Is the tip clogged up there? There you go. Yeah, she's got it. Ah. Ah. Okay, wait. And maybe maybe somebody stepped on your grass. Maybe that's, that's it. what it was. This yeah. looks like my lawn at home. <laughs> this, is, this is a lot harder than it I looks like. I feel like I have Yours to... looks actually really good. There you go. You got it, right? I have no right? idea what's it's, happening it's kind over of here. In the, it's kind of in the wrist. Like it's you just, you just pull it right up. Wrist. Yeah. It's okay. exactly what well, you don't think Well, this is why you should go to Gigi's Cupcakes <laughs> yeah, no kidding. and pick it up instead. Um, because we, we we can't even pull this no. off. Okay. All right. But so I need to put a so you'll put, in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. You're going to put okay. your little. Flag. Do I have to drop it over my shoulder like you really have to do in you, golf? Oh yeah, you can give that a try. See, okay. Maybe you'll make it. it. There we go. <laughs> That's not bad. Thank there you. we go. Okay. All right. Yeah, there's... Okay. So the next one we'll be doing is the grill. The grill. <laughs> yes. So we're going to start off with our chocolate okay. buttercream. Chocolate buttercream. Chocolate buttercream. Okay. So okay. we're going to start in the middle how and squeeze you... that bag really hard. Okay. Oh, that's how you get it so perfectly round. So, yeah, you keep it in the middle and you just squeeze that. Like that? Bag. Squeeze it. Yeah. That okay. looks. Oh, golly. Mine. Okay. You know, it looks like an emoji. It, I'm not even going to say which one. No worries. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Man, well, we're <laughs> what's just what's the next step? We're gonna put some stuff on top, so no worries. <laughs> so we're gonna use this black one here, and we're gonna uh -huh. make we're gonna make the marks on the grill. So we're going okay. to squeeze that bag. Let's, let's start flatten from it out. One. Flatten there it we go. Me. Let's flatten it out. Okay. It looks like a patty. Okay. <laughs> Stop. Stop. What are you doing? Okay. No. Okay. We're gonna eat this, so it, yeah. there we go. Grill marks. Okay. Okay. Grill so marks. Yeah, here we go. The grill marks. We're gonna squeeze that bag and carry it all the way over. It might skip a little bit because yes. of the peaks, but we'll just keep going. Oh, I, have, I have peaks. <laughs> now, I can't. Okay. For the expert cupcakes, and still time to order from your place or pick up, right? That's right. That's right. Still time to pick up and order. And we have a couple of other designs that are special for fathers. We have a mustache style. We have one with a pic that says dad on it. Um, so we're, we're ready. We're prepared for Father's Day. To got, we've got you covered. Okay, um, and also something for the four-legged friends, right? That's right. So we, uh, we have pup cakes now. So for, for dad's best friend, we have um, pup cakes now with a little dog bone on top and then sprinkled with some uh, bacon. So I think your, your, your four-legged friend's going to love that. And some uh, of the popular items are these mini cupcakes, right? That's right. Yeah, everyone loves the mini cupcakes because, you know, sometimes a full-size cupcake is just a little bit too much. And maybe you want to try more than one flavor. So we've got the mini cupcakes that got you covered. Right here we have the strawberry and red velvet, chocolate and wedding. But uh, we have over 300 recipes. We can And anything. new location too, right? That's correct. Yes. So we are now located uh, across the street from where we were before in the Vineyard Shopping Center on Blanco and 1604. So very convenient location. Okay. And wedding cakes, 
just order a week out. So if you're yeah. getting married in a hurry, <laughs> <laughs> or your one job was to get the wedding What's cake. And you this is going to save you. She can save you, yes. <laughs> All right. Jennifer, thank you very much. Thank oh. you so much. For more information on Gigi's Cupcakes, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just scan that QR code on your screen. All right, still ahead on SA Live. There are so many things to celebrate this weekend, including, of course, Juneteenth, where you can find a fun family festival and what to expect. And coming up, it's a transformation that only looks like a million bucks. Our Jen Tobias Trusky shows us five affordable ways to spruce up your kitchen. It's next. The kitchen. We spend a considerable amount of time there, whether you're entertaining or cooking. Today we talk with one expert who shares easy and affordable ways to bring your kitchen to life. I'm joined by Brandy Sutherland. Brandy, this is the place I've been to so many parties and this is where everybody tends to linger, right? The kitchen area, is that right? Yes, <laughs> the kitchen is the heart of the home, as I like to say. Exactly, so you have some ways today on how we can bring it to life a little bit and I like what you told me, it's affordable but easy ways yes. to kind of bring it to life, right? Exactly. And you start with greenery, tell yes, me more. <laughs> greenery. So every week when I'm going to the grocery store, you know, as I'm grabbing my groceries, I also like to hit up the floral section and grab you know some fresh flowers um, and I usually like to do some long stems you know to kind of create a great you know display when you walk into the kitchen it just it adds a layer of texture to it and warmth and I don't know it's just something about having some fresh flowers in your kitchen and really just makes it lovely. The items that we use on a daily basis, mm -hmm. now do you have any ways or tips and tricks on how we can display those? Do we need to put them away or can we have some out? No, see the thing is, I mean, I, I personally live in my kitchen and so I want everything to be accessible. And with it being accessible, it doesn't mean it has to look terrible, you know, when it's out. So for example, like all of my cooking spoons that I use every day, um, I display them like in a really pretty vase. And then I also just try to make sure that my utensils match. You know, that's another thing I kind of think you know it just makes the space look a little bit more tidy okay so a lot of us always have our fruit now that is something that I put in my fridge but there's a few items that I put out what do you yes. suggest what's the best way I definitely think like what you said it's a combo of both but again so when you're displaying it you don't want to just like throw it up there on the counter I mean I know my kids are always like grabbing bananas grabbing yep. oranges and apples and things like that so those are the things that I feel like can stay on the counter and have a little bit more shelf life um, and then when I display them I just think you know getting a pretty bowl or a cool metal basket you know just something so that it doesn't just look one unorganized on your you know your counter space but it just makes them look pretty and I was like and they have such a vibrant color, so fruit's just a great way, yes. you know, to elevate your space in your kitchen. And the bowl you mentioned to me earlier, I mean, some a lot of the items here, Target, or yes. just any store that you go to that's inexpensive, right? Yes, I mean, Target <laughs> is, it is the spot to go to, and, you know, I mean, you really can elevate your home so greatly by just hitting up Target. Okay, and everybody has soap in the sink area, but I like your tips on that because you can make that look a lot nicer, right? Easy, yes. Easily. <laughs> you know, one of the things that I do like to do in the kitchen is get some, like, you can go to Etsy um, and have some custom soap dispensers made. Um, and then that way you just take your soap that you get at the grocery store, put it in this nice display with a little tray. So just, it contains the water, it contains the mess. And, and again, it's just all about giving that like, cohesive, you know, elevated look. That's an easy way to elevate that exactly. area. Um, on now, towels, because everybody has those. Now, do you have any tips for that? Yes, Just oh my gosh. <laughs> I am like, I when we go through so many kitchen <laughs> towels. But you know, I think it's like fun to like, you know, look around and find some towels that have a cute pattern, you know, or a cute texture or, you know, whatever. It's just another fun way to kind of incorporate the seasons as they're changing in your kitchen. Um, and another way just to bring in something fun to jazz up your space. You know, there's so many great ways now that you can display your kitchen, but make it functional, mm -hmm. you know, as well as looking beautiful at the same time. And like you said, your items need to be accessible too. That's right. I like how they all match. I see them right there. <laughs> so Brandy, thank you. It's always a pleasure to meet with you and, and hear you. all of your great tips and your kitchen is beautiful.
Hey, next on SA Live, we find out what it takes to be a service dog. We check in on the journey of one pup preparing to be a helper for one of our military service members. And tomorrow is one of the big events celebrating Juneteenth, of course, the whole holiday weekend. And joining us right now, B. Michelle with the SA Juneteenth Block Party. And Fair is here to tell us what is happening. Welcome, welcome. Block mm -hmm. Party, that much says says it all, right? It says it all. So we will be at Alamo Beer in the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And we have over 90 vendors that will be there from health and wellness, small business, education. So you can come out and get resources on um, staying healthy, on education, school choices, as well as support some local small businesses from um, skin care to, uh, we have waste bees to financial service, a lot, but we have food trucks. Food truck. Yes. So you can't bring any food in because there are plenty of food trucks. And like you said, exactly. so plenty to eat and drink, but like you said, one of the vendors here is Cocoa this skin. cocoa skin and you can get you know why not help out local businesses like that everything you need right there now we, you have to go online to get tickets, right? And there's a few do's and don'ts. Yeah, there's just a few. So obviously we talked about do not bring in outside food and beverage, but definitely bring in your lawn chair, your blankets. Come hang out, have a good time. Bring some sunscreen. Oh, yeah. Because I heard it's going to be really hot. Yeah, it's going to be hot and sunny tomorrow. Yes, indeed. So Okay, and a uh, play area for the little ones as well, right? Yes, we do. So we have a play area. So there'll be um, jump ropes. Uh, we have hula hoops, a um, coloring station. We have a custom coloring book that was created for the kids as well. So it's going to be fun. And we have an adult play area as well. Okay, and it all helps out a great cause, the uh, Dream Scholarship. So if you'd like uh, to head on out to the Juneteenth Freedom Day Block Party happening at the SA Juneteenth Block Party and Fair, pardon me, happening at the Alamo Beer Company tomorrow, 3 to 9.30. It is free, like we said, but you have to reserve tickets. Yes. The whole family, it is going to be a great time. B, thank you very much. You're Michelle. welcome. Appreciate thank you for it. having me. Have a fun time tomorrow. All right, more SA Live is coming up. We met him back in May, and he's already come so far. Dewey the dog is in training to become a helper for a service woman in need. It's all part of a partnership with AFFCU and a few other organizations helping out. We're at Endeavors on the Northwest side, checking in with our buddy Dewey yet again to see how training is going. Oh, look at she well, Dewey is doing great, Steve. It's good to see you again. Likewise, great to see you as well. Now, this was very important for AFFCU, right? To be involved with Dewey and the partnership. Oh, absolutely. Dewey's come along just great. Mm -hmm. You know, AFFCU has been around since 1952, almost 70 years. Mm -hmm. And we have a strong affiliation with the military men and women. And now you don't have to be just military to join AFFCU. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to do something for our community and we happened to find a female veteran in our community that needed a service dog. And this is a team effort, right, Steve? Oh, absolutely. You know, we have Total Dog and the Pink Berets, mm -hmm. and we're providing a service dog, and they're doing the training and the facilitating, so it's a fantastic partnership. Wonderful, and now we get to go chat with somebody from the Pink Berets, right? Yes, so we're gonna meet Stephanie Gattas. Mm -hmm. She's the CEO and founder of the Pink Berets. Nice, thank you, Steve. Good to see you again. Likewise. Well, Stephanie here with the Pink Beret, so nice to meet you. Let's talk about your organization and how you help service women. Well, it is a pleasure to be here, and thank you so much for giving us the opportunity. The Pink Berets is an organization that focuses on women who are struggling with post-traumatic stress, military sexual trauma, and traumatic brain injuries. Uh, our focus is to ensure that these women receive holistic level therapies at no cost. Mm -hmm. Now when it comes to a dog, a service dog like Dewey, how do you go about picking the right service woman to pair with Dewey? We have a stringent vetting process that we use to identify the appropriate person to help dogs like Dewey partner mm -hmm. with somebody like our participant to ensure that we can facilitate the best journey possible. Mm -hmm. And a great partnership indeed because it's a it's a long lasting relationship right that oh, they absolutely. have. Absolutely yes. it's, it's, it's a strong relationship mm -hmm. that we need to focus on that way we can ensure that you know the process of healing is in place for both parties right for the dog and yes. most importantly for a veteran. All right and a great partnership with AFFCU and now we are going to go check and see how the training is going for Dewey. Thank you, Stephanie. Yes, ma'am. Bryce Cavanaugh, the total dog, here with me now. How's Dewey doing? Dewey's doing awesome. Yes. Wonderful. Now, we talked earlier about the differences between service dog and guide dog. Dewey is a service dog, correct? Yes, ma'am. 
So a guide dog is usually for the visually impaired and those can take years to train. Whereas with a service dog, the service dog is trained to help the individual person's particular um, things that they're dealing with, whether it be you know stress out in public or agoraphobia or whatever. So just like PTSD you can take out many different forms and how it affects a person, mm -hmm. uh, so can the training for the dog. So there's no no one size fits all approach for a service dog for a person with PTSD. It just depends on their symptomology. And all that is taken into consideration when you're training a service dog like Dewey, correct? Absolutely. We have to. And the timing is different too, so if it is a, a guide dog, that can take even longer, depending on what the person needs, correct? Right, the guide dogs are usually significantly longer okay. versus service dogs. Good to know. All right. Thank you so much, Bryce. Yes, ma'am. And we are going to check in again with Dewey one more time to see how training is going and when AFFSCU presents him with his new best friend. Again, a reminder, membership to AFFCU has expanded to anyone in and around San Antonio. For more information, you can give them a call, 1-800-227-5328, or visit them online, goaffcu.com. Monday on SA Live, a local food truck featuring the flavors of South Philly. You're going to want to take a bite out of these cheesesteaks.